Hey everyone, it's Marie here. Uh, jumping on today, continuing our theme for February around personal financial fitness. And I uh, wanted to jump on and talk to you about some of the fun things about personal finance. It does not have to be all tedious meetings and numbers and blah, blah, blah. Um, so wanted to give you some of my favorite tools for gamifying personal finance um, and also like getting your finances in order, right? So I know we started this series by talking about budgets. So I just wanted to share with you some of my favorite technologies for budgeting. Um, right now, I think I'm probably on the third or fourth budget app that I've used in life. Um, but I started uh, with using Mint, mint.com when they first came out, thought it was the greatest thing since, since you know, sliced bread, told everyone about Mint, um, where you essentially are giving this website access to all of your financial information. They um, simulate your credit report for you. They help you figure out um, if you pay off this, what will happen with that. But the other great thing about Mint was you can set budget goals, savings goals, and it would track it for you over the month. And they've only gotten better over time. Um, and so that is a good resource, mint.com. If you haven't checked them out before, it is, free to use, right? So there will be a ton of ads in there. The A lot of them will try to get you like sign up for credit cards and things like that. Ignore all of that stuff and use the software. Um, the other one that I tried um, for a while was uh, Good Budget. Um, goodbudget.com, it is an app. You can download it to your phone and it syncs to your bank account, to your debit card, um, uh, your checking account. And so it would track all of your spending. So you would see it come through much like um, bookkeeping software, right? So those of you who have a business, right? You purchase something and then you see the transaction pop up and you decide which category it goes in, which works perfectly for your personal budget with Good Budget. Um, good Budget, it used to be free to use up to like 10 different categories, but you know, most people spend money in more than 10 areas across a month. So you'll probably need to spring for a monthly subscription if you decide to use it. Um, but it was a decent tool. I personally didn't like it because it was difficult for me to share um, information around finances with my partner at the time, uh, which kind of brings us to where we are today. Um, and so the budget app that we use now and have been using for the last um, two years is called YNAB. Y-N-A-B, which stands for You Need a Budget. Um, and it is a tool that Dave Ramsey used to promote and advocate for before he created his own software. Um, but um, it's a really nice tool. Uh, it works on Android and Apple iOS devices. You download it. My husband and I share a login for it so that we can see all of our accounts. You can sync numerous accounts to it. So um, if he has a savings account that he uses to pay some of our monthly bills and I have a checking account that I use. We can put both of those in there and see it month to month. And I like it because it allows you to swap funds between accounts. So if you go over your budget and groceries, you can decide, okay, great, I'm gonna allocate some extra funds from my gas uh, line because I'm not gonna spend as much on gas to cover it. And so it makes it really easy to keep yourself on budget every single month. Um, other tools that I really like for uh, saving, which I think is phenomenal, um, or just like any retirement calculator. There are a ton of retirement calculators out of, out there. Um, I am a Primerica rep, and so I have some software that I use personally that I think only reps have access to. But if you Google a retirement financial calculator, find a good one that you like, keep that in your back pocket, because that's really fun to start calculating how your investments will grow over time, uh, especially if you're investing in a mutual fund. So, you know, a 401k, which usually is comprised of some mutual funds or your retirement plan at work, if you have a 403b as a nonprofit, or even personally, if you have an independent retirement account, an IRA, or as a business owner, if you have a SEP, IRA or a solo 401k, um, any of those kind of tools, it's really nice to start keeping track of what your money could look like and kind of running some hypotheticals to see how much you need to save to reach a certain retirement goal by a certain time because we don't we ain't trying to work forever. Um, the other uh, thing that I really want to talk to you guys about are tools for paying off debt. This is one of my favorite things to talk about. 
I am a big fan of debt snowballing and stacking. And there's an amazing tool. I will drop the link for it um, in the article uh, from this guy Vertex, who is just like a master at Excel spreadsheets, um, which helps you kind of categorize all of your finances and drop them into either a snowball or a stack or any of these number of strategies to help you save interest over time, but also pay off as quickly as possible. And that's one of the tools um, that can actually help you figure out how long it will take you to get out of debt. You can calculate and see the exact you know, month and year that you're gonna be completely debt free. Uh, student loans, right? So that can be really, really fun and extremely motivating, especially if you're like most of us out here still paying Sally Mae and Navient and all them friends. Okay, so those are my like three big wow, so fun things. Why nab? Because it's fun to swap money. It makes it like a game month to month when you're budgeting. Uh, retirement calculators, because it's cool to see that you're being a grown up and are gonna actually have some wealth someday. And uh, debt snowball, because um, Sally Mae is not your friend. She's really not. So those are my big three. I'll drop some links for you guys so you can check them out. Let me know what you use um, and if there's some that I forgot because I love looking at financial tools uh, that make it easier for people to get out of debt, create wealth, and build legacy. That's all for now. Talk to you later. Bye.